it's finally time to start adding the decals. Now, I grew up saying decals here in the U.S., the United States, uh, but I've heard a lot of people say decals in other from other countries, and I kind of like the way that sounds. So I'm I'm trying to train myself to change the way I pronounce it, and these are decals. And this is the Edward set, printed in 2022 for the F4F Early Wildcat. And these are the new ones that have the, the carrier film on the top um, in, in certain light. You might be able to see how it's, it's a little bit of an irregular finish over the top. And I've watched several YouTube videos, different guys um, applying these decals and how to remove that carrier film afterward. Um, it's not as hard as I initially thought it was going to be. I actually uh, have already done on the, on the prop, there's decals at the base of each propeller blade. Those went on really easy. And then to remove that that film was a simple process of letting the decal sit for a good 24 hours and then coming back with some mineral spirits and a brush I actually used this brush dip it in the mineral spirits not overly wet but you know damp and then around the edge of that film on the decal decal see I'm still trying to learn it you just kind of keep massaging it and pushing with the edge of the brush and it'll start to ball up almost like, um, <laughs> almost like a booger. <laughs> I don't know how, how else to explain it. Um, and then it just comes right off and it's beautiful. The, the decals underneath are just perfect. So don't let the Edward decals scare you. They're really not that hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the ones that I'm going to use. And because of the ones I'm going to use for my version, it's going to actually actually require a couple of sessions for me because I'll show you. Let me pull the, let me pull my reference over here and show you what I'm doing. I've kind of kept this secret up to this point. All right. So this is from the USS Ranger in October of 1942. The reason it's going to take me a couple of sessions is this right here. All right, as you can see, these decals on each side of the fuselage come together at the top. So they, they touch. Now that carrier film overlaps the edge of that decal some. So what I'll end up having to do is I can put everything else on except one side. So that one side will have to go on after I've removed the carrier film from the first side. And then I can lay the second one on, let it dry, and then remove that carrier film. Otherwise, you've got carrier film over carrier film, and actually possibly even the decal itself over the other carrier film, and that would completely ruin that, that joint where they come together. But everything else is singular and is not touched. In fact, the numbers on the side of the fuselage, this decal actually has the number as a part of it. You can see over here, you've got the, the 12 on the left side of the fuselage or the port side. And then the 9 is on the starboard side as part of that one. So that's where we're at. I'm going to start cutting these out. Okay, I've got all my decals cut away from the sheet. Everything I need, which on this scheme isn't a whole lot, really. Uh, it's, it's fairly simple. Uh, I've got my water. I've got my setting solutions. I use the Microsol Microset. Um, we'll use the Microset initially, and then maybe a little bit of Microsol on top actually i somebody I, I watched on youtube actually used some of the microsol underneath 
for these decals. So we might go that route as well. Um, in anticipation of putting on decals, I did clear coat the primary areas where the decals would be placed, and I just used Tamiya X22 for that. So from there, I think, I think I'm gonna start easy with the top of the wings, the star round L. Um, and something to be aware of, this number here that's printed on the sheet, that will come away in the water. So I'm actually gonna cut that off before I put it in the water because you don't want that floating around in your water and then getting adhering itself to some other decal that, that would be visible where you don't want it. So always be aware of that. Now I've, I've left them on some of these just so I remember what's what, but before I dip them into the water, those will get cut away. All right. And I just, I put it in the water for, I don't know. I, I like to leave them in there a little longer than most. I've seen some guys just basically dip it in the water and put it right back out on the paper towel. Uh, I've never really done it that way, and I'm surprised that guys actually... Oh, and look at that. I put it in the water and did not remove that number. What an idiot. All right, well, I'll get it out at some point. So, wet my brush with the micro set, and I've got my instruction sheet nearby so I can get an idea of where I need to be placing this. I did a little bit of shading on some panels already, but the majority of my weathering will take place after the decals have been adhered. Let's see, I might need, I might need a little bit more in that direction. All right. Hmm. All right, tweezers. Let's see if they're moving. Some of this excess off. Oh, yeah, it's moving right away. Okay, now that number stayed on there. Thank goodness we don't want it floating. Okay, now according to this instruction sheet, this needs to come back a little bit more this way so that. Looks like the bottom of that star needs to hit right at that point. And then, hmm, it's got to go over quite a bit more, actually. Um, way over here. Um, might need to rotate that slightly. Hmm. Right, it's already starting to want to stick, so I need to make sure we're plenty wet so we can move it around a little bit if we need to. And I think I'm slightly rotated. All right, I think that's looking good. And it has adhered nice and flat. I'm very happy with that. All right. So we'll just let that one sit. Okay, they're all on except for the port side fuselage numbers and round L. Like I said, that's going to have to get put on after I've removed the carrier film from the starboard side because where they come together at the top of the fuselage, they would overlap those carrier films. And that would mess up one of the, one of, if not both, it would mess up one of the decals for sure. Uh, after I got all of those on, I did go back over them with the micro saw, just to make sure that they were all settling in real well. Uh, it's a, it's still activating now. I just finished putting that on, um, but they all look really, really good. Um, the other reason I put the micro saw on is here where the lower roundels overlap the ailerons slightly. I want to make sure that gets sucked down in there really good. Um, there is a 
control horn or a, a hinge horn right here in the middle and it's holding up that edge of the of the decal but it should suck itself down pretty good here so we'll let this sit overnight a good 24 hours then I'll remove the carrier films and then I will add the other fuselage marking and let it sit for 24 hours before removing it. It's the next day, which is Friday, uh, March 22nd. And it's time to get this carrier film removed. And I've looked in a few, there are a few bubbles and I don't know I don't know if those bubbles are in the carrier film itself or the actual decal, uh, but even if it's in the decal and those tear off, it might actually work in my favor because all the markings look brand new and the rest of the airplane does not. So that could work out in our favor. I'm going to have to wear them down anyway, if not. So we'll see how that goes. So. I've got just a little bit of white spirits, mineral spirits, in that cup. Uh, and then I've got my, my brush that I will use to loosen that carrier film. And I guess the best place to start is exactly where we started yesterday on this left wing. So let's see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to tip this up so I can see a little better in the light. So we'll just wet that around the edge some and work at it. And you can see I'm, I'm pushing the bristles toward the edge. And eventually that, that mineral spirits will loosen up that carrier and it'll start moving. Feel it starting to catch the edge now. So hopefully, you know what? I'm gonna put my big eyes on here for a second. Hold on. Okay, and hopefully I don't bump the camera while I'm doing this with my visor. It takes a few minutes for this to get started, but like I said, I, I did it the other day on the prop decals, 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 gosh. You know, when you've been saying a word one way all your life, it's hard to change the way you say it. Anyway, it works. It just takes a little bit of time. I don't know if you can see, but it's starting to curl up now. It gets gummy. Yeah, it's starting to separate from the underlying decal, which is exactly what we want it to do. I don't know if that's showing up in the light or not. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you can see that edge starting to lift and just keep working at it the carrier film has been removed from this one and yes that bubble was in the underlying decal so it did peel away and it peeled away a little bit more of the paint here um, apparently I didn't get my clear coat on quite as thick as I probably should have because I think what happened there was it activated some of that chipping fluid underneath the paint. But that really works in my favor. Because now the emblem, the decal, is worn like the airplane is worn. And I even, I took my X-Acto knife and followed this edge of this panel. And then brushed it a little bit to get it to open up slightly. So that you can see that that panel has been removed at some point over and over probably because that's where you load your gun ammunition 
So it's the same process going all the way, all the way around the airplane, and this will still get some weathering added to it. But right now, uh, that just looks awesome, I think. I mean, that's it almost looks painted on, which is the benefit of these decals. There is no step, no edge. Beautiful. So. All right, all the carrier films have been removed from all the decals that were added yesterday. And like on the other one, there's, there's a few areas where the decal came away with the carrier film. But like I said, in, in my case, in this situation, it works for the look I'm after. You know, it, it looks battle scarred and worn, tired paint. So this is working perfect. Now, if you were trying to build a pristine looking, you know, museum aircraft or freshly off the production line, maybe this isn't the right technique for that. Uh, and maybe, maybe the Edward decals aren't even the right decal for that decal decal. Gosh, <laughs> I just can't get over that. Um, anyway, but if, if a tired, worn out aircraft is what you're looking for, then this technique with the Edward decals definitely fits the bill. Okay. And on the port side, I just put I just put this one on, um, so tomorrow, 24 hours, I will pull the uh, carrier film off of that, and then once that's finished, then I can start adding all the little bits and bobs to finish it off. You know, unmask the landing gear bay, install the landing gear, put on the elevator and the rudder, the canopy. Uh, I actually dropped this for a moment yesterday uh, and knocked the front of the engine off. I've got it sitting over here to be glued back on. No big deal. Uh, but then the cowl will go on. So it is it is a lot closer to being done now than it has been. So that'll be the next video. We'll stop here with this and the next episode should be the completed aircraft. Everything put together and we'll get some photographs of it. And then uh, I'll be on my way to contest with it in a couple of weeks. Peace and love.